When the game kind of settles in here. Here's Williams down low again. And that's goaltending against Dunnigan. Here to get Derek Williams going. Little back cut. And Dunnigan doesn't see the ball. Turns his back. Boy, you and, let him set up down there. Yeah. But he's got some skills more than anything else. Wise, a good look for three. But he couldn't get it to go. And Williams gives Zona a second chance. Down low, Horn finish. Great, oh, great pass by Williams. Great. That's a good no call, I think. And here's Wise coming the other way, all the way. Oh, nine to eight ball game, Arizona over Oregon. Watch the little dish and pair him with the finish. We're going to talk about some of the great freshmen in the Pac-10 Conference when we come back. Don't go away. Semi-transition, you'll get better looks. Here's Nachasco. Now he's got real size advantage on Criddle here. Puts it up, banks it in. Not sure that's quite the way he wanted to do it, but he'll take it. And Ernie Kent, as he has done all year, playing a lot of people. Lavender for three, and he is a street shooter. He gets it going. He could be awfully tough. All this year, yeah. freshmen and sophomores. Momo Jones leaves for fog. Good look from the corner. No. And a rebound, Momo Jones. Took it away from the big man for both these teams. Well, I think the teams that on each possession are being aggressive are the teams that are being rewarded. And that time, Momo just gets in there and Ernie Kent with a quick time. Wise, and you can see Humphrey jumping out on Wise. Got five on the shot clock. Wise, pretty good look. Knocks it down. There's a reason why you jump out on Wise. Did a good job to get it back to Momo Jones, who's back in the ball game. Now here's Horn going baseline. Got it over Dunnigan and in. Good effort by Horn. Stepping out, has shot the most threes on the team. And you see Jeremy Jacob running out there to contest. Horn does the right thing, puts it down and scores. Shit again. Armstead, little stutter step, and then has it taken away by Wise. Wise ahead to Parham. Two on one. Parham all the way. Probably should have given that one up. Momo Jones gets it back, puts it in. He'll Momo, take the garbage. Momo again on the offensive glass. That wasn't in our scouting report, Barry, that he gets to the offensive board, but. Lavender back in the ball game for Arizona, and Wise with a little scoop shot. Two ball game. Williams got that one up over Dunnigan. Good job by Williams. He's been very quiet since early in the game. Lead of the ball game now for Arizona. Dunnigan, Lavender got a hand on it. Good job by Lavender. Ahead it goes this time to Fogg. Fogg coming across the lane. Leaves in the corner for Wise for three. And Hill tried to drop that down for Williams, and he hit Singler right in the chest. Lavender, good look for three. How's that for use of the clock? Before practice, to work on uh, two ball handling drills, and it doesn't take long to tighten up your handle. All right, let's take a look at it. Start off with the crossover, go between the legs, behind the back. Crossover, between the legs, behind the back. Pretty good. All right, how come two balls? Uh, it just makes it harder. Anything you can do with two makes it second nature with one. Work on your ball handling. Maybe you can hit a game winning shot just like Nick Wise does here at Arizona. And another reason that he uses two basketballs, because basketball is a two-headed game. Watch it right here. See him switch hands, take it to the basket and score. He's got 10 in the ball game, and his team leads by eight. We're coming back. Arizona with the first possession. Nick Wise leaves it nicely. And Williams with the finish, but what a dish by Wise. From up top with a much smaller Porter trying to work on him. Nice leave that time for Williams. And the ball. Here you go, Horn. To Fogg, to Derek Williams for the finish. And Ernie Kent wants a timeout just to stop the bleeding here. 18-21 remaining in the ballgame. Zona's got its biggest lead. It's a 40-28 ballgame. Arizona over Oregon. The Ducks have got to gather themselves. Man rebound that time for Derek Williams. Nice leave again. Wise to Williams coming off the baseline. But credit Nick Wise. He's been unbelievable to start this second half with penetration. And Wise just recovered the loose ball. I guarantee you. That was Fogg drawing Dunnigan to him. Knew that Williams would be open going to the basket. Easy two. This is Horn. Wise baseline. There's Williams coming down the lane again. Or rather, Parham going down the lane. Leads for Williams. There's that and one. And it has been the Derrick Williams show. Unselfish of Arizona that time, two extra passes to get it to their big horse on the baseline. Pump fake, gets the contact, 
and finishes. Parham with the extra pass. Good poise by Williams to not travel, to show the ball. Instead runs down the rebound. And stepping in front was Parham. And now they got big numbers. Three on one. Parham with the finish. Half. And they're blowing the doors off Oregon right now. 16 point lead for the Wildcats. It's a 49 to 33 ball game. Unselfish play and great finishes by the freshman. It's a 49 33 ball game. We have 15 13 remaining to be played. And we're going to take this time to recognize our Alberto Beef Jerky Alpha player of the game. And he is Derek Williams. He got a lot of help from his friends, but Derek has scored 11 points in the second half. He has 18 in the ball game. Hill in the game now. So too is Jasko. Jones, good look from the corner for three. Here's the ball. Finally, it's loose, picked up by Nachasco. He gets into the hands of Jones. Three on one, now four on one. Parham the trailer. It wasn't going to. Long rebound to Momo Jones, now Nachasco. Here's Fogg again. Drop it down to the basket for Hill, and again, an unselfish play. What a look by Fogg, though. He could have let that one fly. Nobody would have said anything. Threads the needle to Solomon Hill for the easy flush. There to Dunnigan. Hasn't gotten a ton of opportunities. Good job by the Arizona defense. Another great pass by Fogg. Nachasco with the finish. But again, it was Kyle Fogg. Remaining, we talk about Arizona being so unselfish. Momo Jones, the lead. They had numbers four on one and the finish by Parham. They lead by 17. Parham with the ball right now. Interesting guy, too. He had signed one a pass. Parham to Williams for the finish. Hiry guy and the lunatic all the time. And he's found that balance. He's found a way to get through to his players. Momo Jones, easy move across the lane, and an easy score. As Wise again comes baseline, leaves for Jones. Jones into the lane, a little off balance, but he'll take it. Thank you very much. But our American Airlines flashback focuses on Arizona senior Nick Wise. We've been talking about him all night. He's one of those guys you can count on in the clutch. For instance, December 21st last year, Lipscomb leading by two in overtime. Wise gets this three-pointer at the buzzer. Sona wins 83-82. Two nights later against North Carolina State. Game tied. Wise drives the length of the court, clinches a dramatic Arizona State win, 76-74. January 31st against Cal. Wise outscored the Bears 7-3 in the final 53 seconds, including this one near the end of the game. The Cats moved into first place in the Pac-10 with that win, a 76-72 victory. It's just something that my dad instilled into me when I was younger, you know, um, playing a little league game and had a chance to make a game winner and I ended up passing the shot to someone else and we lost and, um, you know, he pulled me aside after the game and was like, look, um, if you want to be um, a winner and one of the best players you can be, you have to be the guy that wants to take the last shot and, uh, you know, not wanting to lose and putting it all on your shoulders. Be a factor here at Arizona. That's terrific. I mean, just great ball movement, great vision. Some of it here. A skip pass for Fogg. Fogg draws two people to him, steps inside, leaves it to Horn. Last basket, incidentally, was the first basket scored by a non-freshman for Arizona in the second half. How good are they going to be? We're coming back. 70 to 52 ball game. It's been an unselfish Arizona team that is looking for all the world like it's going to be a team to be reckoned with. Execution's been unbelievable. They got 28 field goals, 20 assists on those 28 field goals. But the unselfish play, good execution as I mentioned, player movement, but the extra pass. Against Jerome Randall and the Cal Bears. That's a wrap for us from here in Tucson. For my partner, Don McClain, I'm Barry Tompkins saying so long. You've been watching Pac-10 Hoops presented by KFC.